Uh, hello, today I'm going to be making a video tutorial on how to edit payday textures. This is meant for like absolute beginners essentially, trying to help people get into modding. So basically what you're going to need is GIMP, which is the image and editing texture that pretty much everyone uses. Then you're going to want Bundle Viewer, which you can see here. This lets you essentially uh, extract the files from the game. You're also going to want to update the Bundle Viewer. You can't see any pretty much anything past 2020 any new updates things like that uh so if you want to do that you go to this uh github page and then you download it and then you take this hash light and then you go to data and then you replace this hash light with the one that you just downloaded and that way you'll be able to see the newest stuff if a new update comes out just go back to the github page to see if it's been updated so yeah first what we want to do oh yeah also you're going to want a mod called string id revealer it's not technically necessary but it makes your life a lot easier as a modder because you could see the file names and everything so in here i'm going to be using the cleaver knife uh so this is where the id revealer comes in really handy you just click a key bind click here and you can see that the name the names of the files so this thing is called the meat cleaver so then you just go into the bundle viewer uh open that up takes uh, takes a second or two file open uh, bundle underscore db and just like a wait a second or two here also you have to make sure that this setting uh, in here the first one is ticked the extract full directory that is very important uh, so yeah now that the files are loaded you can go in here and look for the file which is meat underscore c meat cleaver here uh, here we could see uh, weapon FPS meat cleaver underscore DF. DF textures are essentially just a base texture. Um, so it's like the most important one. Normal is the bump map, which is uh, more complicated. So I'm not going to be covering it in this video. Uh, so yeah, just go to your local files by going by clicking this uh, gear icon, manage, and then browse local files. You probably already, if you're modding, you probably know already have done this but you go to assets and then make a file called mod, mod overrides and then you just take the file the df file from here and then you just oh no wait first you got to make a file so i'm just going to call it butcher uh, you go into the file and then you just extract the meat cleaver uh, also because of the file setting that we turned on it'll create the full directory which is very important oh sorry yeah, it'll create the full file directory, which is really important. Then you go in here, then you can op then you open it with GIMP. Um, I set GIMP to the default for textures and uh, DDS, but if you don't have it, then you got to go to open with and find your GIMP file. But yeah, so we just opened that. <laughs> you can see that I was like experimenting earlier on. But yeah, so here is the file. We can make an edit to this, like just a quick edit, just scribble on top of it with some red. And then we do file export as and then change the dot texture to dot dds and then export make it dc uh bc3 dxt5 and then do generate mitmaps and then just click ok you could delete the original file though i like to save the original file by calling it by adding old at the end just in case i need it later but yeah change the dot dds to dot texture and then you just close and reopen payday And then once we uh, enter payday, you should be able to see the uh, texture edit that we made. Uh, so if we go here, and if I didn't mess anything up, which I am very prone to doing. Yep, there we go. You can see the texture here. Also, an extra tip. The opacity re um, affects the reflectiveness. So here you can see that it's like super bright red and stuff, so it's more reflective. But if you wanted to change that, you can uh, un undo this, make a new layer by clicking this button, and then make the changes here. You can even just add like an image on top of this. I'm just scribbling because it's easier, but you can add any literally anything you want. And then in order to um, lower the reflectiveness, you just lower the opacity, and then do merge down. And then you can just do file export as DDS. 
Also, cool thing is once the mod is loaded, you can actually change the texture, um, like while payday is up, and you don't have to restart payday. So here you can see that once I changed it, uh, the changes have been applied. Now it's less reflective, and it's harder. It's harder to see because I merged the like scribbles on top of the original texture. Um, but yeah, that's how you make them less reflective. So yeah, I hope this tutorial came in handy uh, for any new players or new modders uh, specifically. Uh, literally, texture editing is the easiest. Um, you can literally do it with pretty much anything. It's kind of hard to do with guns because guns are complicated. But like with a mask, let's say, hold on, sorry. You can just go in here, use a string ID revealer. Wait, hold on, sorry. You use string ID revealer, grab the names of it, and then search it up in the just search it up in the bundle viewer. It's very, and then just edit it like how I showed you. It's very easy, and it's uh very quick, and yeah, that's that's it, I guess.